I'm here in Singapore where shipping giant Maersk has unveiled its latest dual fuel methanol vessel. The 350 meter long vessel has a capacity of over 16,520 foot equivalent containers and more importantly can run on traditional marine fuels as well as methanol, a low carbon alternative fuel. Doing so allows the vessel to save up to 280 tons of CO2 emissions per day. 90% of global trade is seaborne, but it does come at a cost to the environment. Every year, the maritime industry emits roughly as much CO2 as Germany and Spain combined, roughly 3% of global greenhouse gas emissions. Maersk aims to receive about 25 dual fuel methanol vessels by the year 2027. Some of them will be new builds like this ship, while others will be older vessels that have been retrofitted. This is one way the company plans to achieve its ambitious goal of reaching net zero emissions by 2040, 10 years ahead of the target set by the International Maritime Organization. However, there are hurdles that need to be crossed. Methanol has a relatively lower energy, meaning that twice the volume of methanol is needed to power these vessels compared to conventional marine fuels. Furthermore, there is a lack of supply for greener fuels, leading to them costing significantly more than conventional fuels. Industry experts are calling for global regulations and policy changes to make prices more competitive and solve this bottleneck.